let's move on so this is season five and these are the current celestial tier guilds the top five so at number one we have factory reset which previously was known as brain factory uh and here they are the 150 mil total exp earned we have tsl in their pv their pve arc no pvp on the board besides their weird fly thing they're doing uh with 127 mil earned they have still friendly two the new you know the new and improved friendly one of them i <laughs> God. Autumn Rose, I hope you're not here. I mean, I hope you're here, but I hope you're not here. <laughs> uh, with 112 mil earned. We had the Force at 91 mil, pretty much the, I would say, the lowest they've earned in a long time. And DPS, Dead Poet Society, a pure PvE guild, still holding strong at number five with 84 mil EXP earned, um, or total, total earned. Now let's look at the last seven days here. Factory Reset, strong with uh, 12.6 mil earned. TSL earning almost 10 mil. We have still friendly, still friendly to earning 18 mil in the last seven days. Are you freaking kidding me? Who, TSL, did you do this? Did you go to this guild and, and screw the numbers up again? If you don't know, Bombs is a, is a mercenary and he did this to me last, he did this to me last week. He screwed, he skewed the numbers. And 18 mil earned, what the fuck? Anyway, the forest earning 7.2 mil and DPS almost earning 7 mil total. So, inter I mean, excellent numbers here. Um, I, what the hell is with 18 mil earned, dude? <laughs> oh my god, what's going on here? Okay, there we go. All right, moving on, we're going to go to legendary, and that's the sixth through tenth position. We actually have movement here on the board. This is exciting stuff here, especially for Jason. We'll watch the ball later, I bet, and uh throw his fist in the air but we have friendly uh another friendly guild a conglomerate they like to say the fan the friendly family they don't pay me enough to say that okay so i'm not doing it but we have friendly here at 79 mil almost 80 mil earned uh total we have prostar with 55 mil total we have wolf blood wolf wolf i'm a part of their guild and i am carrying them on my freaking yote back with 53 mil uh total earned i'm just kidding please don't kick me out of the guild dagon but here we go here we go, Asgard moving two positions four uh, with 37 mil total EXP. Now they were a, this is a special guild uh, to me. They're on the short, but no, I'm just kidding. But uh, they were tier two. I was rooting for them since tier two, even when they had some unsavory characters join their guild after uh, the Babel sanction and some other weird stuff that happened. Uh, I was still like, I, Jason, you got this and look at him. So they breached Legendary, and now they are a top 10 guild on the SGL. So Jason really pouring his soul into this guild, and to everyone else that's supporting Jason in Asgard, um, hats off to you. So congrats, two whole positions up, number nine, that is a huge milestone for Asgard. Coming from tier two, it's excellent stuff. And then you have Murders of the Universe being pushed down from Asgard, but they also bumped into Legendary tier, taking out Shadow Garden, those freaking noobs shadow <laughs> uh but they they came in and then they got bumped by asgard and now murders of the universe uh finally putting skin in the game at number 10 so excellent stuff let's see what everyone earned though so 6.5 here at with friendly almost 5 mil for prosper almost 5 mil for wolf blood so if i had to pick a nemesis for wolf blood it's prosper uh it's neck and neck um you know improvements on both or neck and neck via guilds and their personal like achievements and improvements um are you know if you've had a graph it's like it's parallel to each other uh and what they're what both guilds are able to put out with their members so it's season like by by the end of season five you could put a bet on any one of them but then you you have also asgard coming in 4.7 earned and asgard's a super strong guild so Wolfblood, you know, let's look at um, total again. There's a there's a safe buffer, but you never know. You never know if Jason's just gonna you know wake up one day and like drop twenty grand into. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, and then Mercer Universe earning two point seven mil, pretty pretty weak compared to everyone else here. Um, but that's legendary. Uh, it's just good to see things uh, happening. <laughs> All right, moving on to Epic. So moving on to Epic, we have Shadow Gardens fall from grace here committed to season six just to be a loser no i'm just kidding i'm so kidding shadow but anyway 
at 11 we have shadow garden we have heaven and hell at 12 they changed their name back i guess uh that, that they were just hell at one point <laughs> we have resolve at 13 we have uh knights at 14 and we have bloodlust at 15. uh so shadow garden with 36 mil total heaven and hell 29.7 so basically 30 mil total resolve almost at 30 mil 27.4 and these 26.2 and bloodlust 25 mil so bloodlust so noticeable gills here i mean shadow garden falling it's to be expected they were top 10 for like the whole season um but heaven and hell they had a resurgence it's a classic guild ran by pratt and a lot of h and h or heaven and hell players came out of retirement and came back to the guild specifically for this climb they i mean they've only been here for season five and they've already reached top 12. Uh, i don't know if they'll stagnate they're a pretty healthy guild still, um, but we'll see. Now Resolve, Resolve has been here for the whole season and they are a super new guild, uh, previously tier two, and they're just, they're stable. So always, always good to see that they're not falling behind the rat race. He's very much questionable. He has been stagnant. Uh, and we'll see here in Earn EXP what's really going on. And Bloodlust ruled by Silverwolf, former Wolfblood leader, member and brother and my personal homie um just they exploded into epic tier and i mean if you just coast even if you fall from here uh i would say as a brand new guild that has rocketed forward with the help of friends and then also commitment from silver i'd be happy with it well let's look at earn shall we 2.7 with shadow still dominating the tier they fell into uh, 2.5 from Heaven and Hell, 2.2 from Resolve, 2.3 from Yi, so I guess not entirely dead, they just pick and choose, and then 2.1 from Bloodlust, who's, he's still looking for his core knights, so to speak, or core warriors, so if you're looking for a new guild, and you're looking, uh, you know, to dedicate your time and friendship to someone, uh, consider Bloodlust, he's not paying me to shill his guild out, but I wish he was. Alright, let's move on move on to elite so elite tier is 16 through 20 we have some movement on the board um and we have wolf not to be confused with wolf blood you know what i mean but we have wolf here at 16 with 1.4 mil uh total exp italia who are not all italian by the way should not be fooled they are not all italian okay i thought they were i thought they would be you know uh giving me you know bread and cheese and pasta and linguine and then only two of them were like italian it's bullshit it's the biggest bullshit in this game number 17 we have italia with 2.4 mil total golden arrows showing um i guess kind of signs of life at 18 with 1.7 mil moving forward uh past number 19 zck uh zealous and kitties at 1.3 mil total and then sorrow keep like the newest guild uh, for season five, coming near the end, uh, you know, breaching the SGL last week at number 20 with 1.8 mil earned. Wait, oh my god, I was looking at earned the whole time. <laughs> anyway, let's look at their total real quick 23 mil, 21, 19, 18, 16. Pretty good numbers. What I knew, I knew, I was like, I'm saying earned total earned, total earn, what the hell am I saying? <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, Golden Air still alive, I guess. I don't, it's been really bad. It's just been a really bad season. Considering this was a celestial tier guild, they were top five. All right, let's go to rare tier. All right, we're on total. Okay, I'm doing this correctly this time. So rare tier, uh, we have 21 through the 25th positions. And of course, you'll see here the tier two guild popping in. And you'll see the rivalry, uh, the, the now cold-blooded war between Black Dragon in Helheim. So at 21, we have TPC, the Peaceful Crusade, with 14 total mil or 14 mil total EXP. We have Black Dragon with 11 mil moving three positions, boosting into um, the top 25. We have the Cult of Eternal Ice, who've been here for a minute, being dropped by Black Dragon's progress at 23 with 11 mil EXP earned or total. Alpha Omega dropping down from Black Dragon's progress at number 24 with 10.9, essentially 11 mil total. Then Helheim chasing Black Dragon at the 25th position with 10.7 total, 10.7 uh, mil total EXP earned. So, 
they i get helheim you know we saw what we read from our source here at couch cat helheim had uh pushed past black dragon in that surprise backstab i uh, guess it didn't pay off and back uh black dragon looks freaking pissed off about it <laughs> so it's excellent to see um stories like that come to fruition in the sgl so congrats to both of them for one coming into the sgl black dragon um was here before obviously but helheim this is their first uh popping that sgl cherry and it looks like it's going to be hell for them if black dragon has anything to say about it um but this is rare tier i mean most of these guilds were t in the tier 2 system black dragon colt alpha and helheim are all tier 2 guilds so let's look at what they're earning though so tbc i thought they're you know uh <laughs> I, i've been making jokes that they're dead right well they've earned half a mil exp so they're dead they're, they're essentially dead right now black dragon with 1.5 mil earned in the last seven days colt earning less than half a mil dead and then alpha and omega almost earning a mil kind of dead and then helheim uh chasing black dragon with 2.2 uh mil earned for the last seven days so interesting stuff here going on in weird and that mm. and that concludes the top 25 but we'll, we'll be ending the sgl um report with the tier 2 system which is my favorite part of the sgl because i'm in it no i'm just kidding <laughs> all right um yeah you can see it all excellent dude the, the zoom is perfect okay there's a lot of guilds here so i'm not gonna just go off numbers i'm gonna go off positioning so newbies newbies is dead okay uh newbies is super dead i'll, I'll just keep it on earn to show the deadness uh they moved on to dgk which is demos and latest guild lucas the the owner of newbies is in dgk and i think a couple others from the core members uh moved on as well afterglow they were in the top 25 briefly and now they're back in the tier 2 system you can see here they're still earning half a million exp which is um pretty much the standard here in tier 2 murder crows is at 28 the great demolition king there's dgk dgk moving two positions forward uh i don't know if they're going to make top 20 five this season but season six if they don't explode <laughs> or implode uh there's a good chance here uh, but they are still full noobs demo lucas <laughs> so step and chill dead at number 30 rest in peace cord he's not actually dead but you know rest in peace uh dante's inferno room earning i mean substantial but they're, just, they're not really going anywhere here at number 31 32 we have gorilla wizards which is rest in peace gorilla wizards and og guild top contender guild they were a legendary guild at one point and now they're all the way down here and they're just kind of like floating along because they're a powerhouse and idol mmo uh, house of bamboozle at 33 volpinia at 34 which is a vex's guild uh pretty much dead i had, there was momentum and then they never got past this and then ego ego the newest guild in the tier 2 system at 35 i don't have any info on ego but we'll probably have to look into it to see if they're able to hang um but they're earning exp maybe because it's like a dude after 35 is a dramatic drop in exp <laughs> amelia says uh floating along like a body in the river yeah that would describe a lot of people in some of the guilds in tier two <laughs> that's for sure that will conclude tonight's uh season simple mode season go leaderboard product report for season five we are nearing the end of the season so we're pretty much almost in um lock here for positioning 